Hello you what's his faces, welcome back to a new video, Tygon here and today I'm going to show you how to get more kills in Call of Duty Mobile. And yes, special shout out to Soul Gobro. yes the grind must go on, hashtag row 2 1000 subs. But let's get into it, so I'll be giving you guys 5 or more major tips to help you out with this. There will be other tips sprinkled in but I'm just going to give you guys the major ones and you guys will I guess distinguish which ones you find more valuable. So the first one, first off, is learn to play claw. This will make you better overall, and it will allow you to play for longer. This is because your fingers are spread out. As you know, if you have ever played video games, if you play it for a long time, eventually your fingers could get tired. If you're on mobile, and especially and you're only playing with two thumbs, your fingers will get tired way quicker, and this will cause you to one, make bad plays, and then two, not be able to play as long. If you're playing claw, your fingers are going to be way more spread out. So you're going to be distributing all of the work throughout multiple fingers, meaning you can play for longer and your play quality doesn't really lessen, as well as you're going to be more accurate with certain things. The next thing is start jump shotting. The reason why I said play claw is because this jump shotting you can do without playing claw, of course, in Call of Duty Mobile, but it's going to be more accurate if you do it like this and it'll save your fingers Oh, basically it'll make it easier on your fingers and your hands so jump shotting is really good I should have a clip or one instance I do it in this video it really does help you get a jump as the name implies on your opponent and they don't know exactly where to shoot it just catches them off guard so please do this of course only do it when you need to if you're doing it if you're just standing right in front of someone it's not gonna do too much yeah it's good in like it may make the person shoot at your feet, but the average person may be, will probably be able to track you. The times you want to jump shot is, for example, if you're in a corner, you want to jump out of that corner to then be able to go and attack your opponent. The next thing I have is to play aggressive the entire time. Yes, play aggressive yet smart, but this video is more about getting the kills. If you die, so you're not really trying to get a nuke, you're really trying to get a lot of kills. Now, of course, don't completely destroy your KD, but play aggressive. And what this, well, th what this means is, if you're playing aggressive, you're nine times out of ten, you're gonna get more kills. And of course, it's just gonna be, you're gonna have more fun doing it. Yeah, you'll die a lot, but you're gonna get one, one way more experience in gunfights, which means your overall skill will go up. So that's why I really do recommend trying to play aggressive as much as possible. Next thing I have for you guys is learn the enemy's spawn and don't push when you don't need to this is a this is especially good information if you're playing domination for example let's say you have captured the a and the b flag sometimes people will stupidly go and push c and if you push c that means everyone all your opponents they're going to come from the back now because you push c there is no reason for you guys to push c the only reason why you would need to push c is if your opponents had a higher score than you in domination but if your opponents don't have a higher score than you there's no reason to push c especially if your teammates are not ready for it because one that will catch make all your teammates will catch all your teammates off guard so just make sure don't push when you don't need to and remember to hold down a particular area and just let them come to you so don't pass the c flag line uh the next thing i have for you guys is to play with the right gun on the right map for you for example if you like to rush in Call of Duty or in Call of Duty Mobile, then play with a gun that's usually best for rushing. For example, you could play with an SMG. The MSMC is really great for this, but yeah, play with the MSMC. Now, of course, don't play with MSMC on a crossfire because that's usually not going to yield the best results unless you play the gun properly. For example, you're going to have to stay in one area. so. Don't try running across the map too often, stay in those building areas. So just remember, play with the right gun for you one, and then play with the right gun on the right map. And even if you're not going to play with it on the right map, play it properly. If you have a long range gun, don't go into short range situations. Even with quick scoping, even if you're a good quick scoper, don't do that all the time because it will necessarily, it won't get you as many kills. Yes, you can, like if you practice a lot, you're going to be able to go into those situations and go into those engagements and come out on top but there could be that chance or that it'll turn into like a 50 50 chance of whether you'll make it or you won't so you should probably stay a bit further at least medium range to if let's say of course if you're you're sniping 
say at least medium range so you can, can have the best chance of taking out your opponent. So that's all I have for that one. Now the next thing I have is put your secondary button in an easy location to get on your HUD. You need to be able to switch easily. So make sure it's clear, big, and easy to see, of course, because another thing about this is you're gonna wanna see how much, how many bullets you have because sometimes you may go into a fight and then you realize at the last second, oh dang it, I ran out of bullets. This is why this is one of the only things on my HUD that is slightly more visible than everything else because I want to actually be able to see this particular information because it's really important. So check your HUD pretty, pretty periodically don't just not look at it because you might end up in a situation where you just get gunned down because you ran out of bullets and that is one of the most frustrating things ever because you probably could have taken them out if you just had more ammo so make sure one it's big enough for you to see clear and it's an easy it's in an easy location because you're going to want to switch to your secondary once you start getting low on ammo the reason for this is when you run out of ammo it's basically oh well, yeah you know what happens when you run out of ammo so make sure you switch before you run out of ammo next thing is use attack helicopter or sentry gun this will help you get way more kills faster reason is sentry gun is just a beast anywhere you put it even though they nerfed it that thing is amazing especially on domination you can hold a point with it so just put it in front although keep in mind if you put it in front of their spawn or something that's going to mean they're going to start spawning the opposite direction so keep that in mind i would probably say tell your teammates that's why I do recommend playing like uh, using some form of voice chat. But yeah, tell your teammates and then start going, start running to the other side with having a few people still at the base or the point you guys are attacking. But yeah, the attack helicopter helps as well. Really good. Even if it doesn't necessarily get the kill, it'll soften your enemies up and they'll be even easier to kill. So I do like using that. Now, another thing I have for you guys is going for double speed. What I like to do is I like to put quick draw and agility on an SMG or even an AR, even any AR. This allows you to pull out your gun so fast, your enemies won't even know what hit them. So even if you're playing reckless and aggressive, like I mentioned, you should play if you're, well, not necessarily reckless, but play aggressive. If I, even if you're playing like that, it's gonna help you because you're gonna be able to win in most of those engagements because you have the attachments to back it up. So please, please do this. Now the next thing is, I don't know if you guys ever heard of this, but it might sound crazy. Get some powder and rub it on your fingers. This will absolutely help you when you're trying to move your fingers across the screen. One thing that happens to me when I'm in an intense battle is my hands will get really sweaty. And when that happens, it makes it harder to actually move the screen. So this will really, I guess, it'll, it'll make it less variability. Another way you can subvert this instead of, you know, getting a whole bunch of powder on your hands and making everything powdery, especially your phone, you don't want that getting into like the holes of your phone and stuff, is to go out and buy some finger sleeves. They're not that expensive and as long as you take care of them, I just put mine in like a, a gum box, like, you know, one of those Mentos things. Yeah. So as long as you take, well, not Mentos, but um, Altoid scans, as long as you take care of them, they should serve you well and I use them they're really good I use it for my OnePlus because OnePlus has a really nice screen only thing is it's a plastic screen protector on it and that makes my hands get sweaty even more than glass and I can't move it, my hands across it as easily so the next thing I have for you guys is use the ACOG scope the ACOG scope in this game is so OP that when there was pro tournaments and stuff it was banned even now, after they nerfed a lot of stuff and did a lot of tweaks, the ACOG scope is really good. A great uh, pairing or attachment you can use with the ACOG scope is one, using snipers because it allows you to stay scoped in the entire time. It's really good to use ACOG scope with that. The other thing is to use an L LMG. Especially if you're a beginning player, using that ACOG scope with an LMG will help you get a lot of kills fast because you just get, stay scoped in and then you can see people coming at you from the sides it's an ACOG scope it's not like a sniper scope so once you can get an ACOG scope on any weapon you have please put that on there but that's all I have for you guys today if you did enjoy this video please consider subscribing and leave a like on it also hit that bell button because you nine times out of ten won't get my notification also one more thing if you do want to see your name in the front or you want me to give you guys a shout out just leave a like on the video and comment something 
by the way i do want to know how i did on this video i always trying to improve my content so let me know that down in the comments but if you i guess yeah ty got out gosh we're at 700 guys road to a thousand it's crazy but yeah peace out guys and guys